Bogart Story Red Fragrance Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Bogart Story Red by the house of, I think it says Jackie's Bogart. Sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly, but a fragrance reviewer of mine suggested that I try this house. He said they're actually a pretty good house and it's pretty affordable, so I decided to pull the trigger. I kind of regretted buying a red fragrance right off the bat because he suggested me a few other fragrances. I think one was called like One Man Show, things like that, but I couldn't find the exact version he said. I really like red fragrances and color fragrances. Usually they're kind of in the middle for me. I always like them, but a color fragrance like red, black, yellow, any of these, they just don't end up being my favorite favorite. And so for me to give this new house a go, as soon as I ordered it, I'm like, I probably should have ordered a different one just because red fragrances are never my favorite. So that being said, I do wanna try out another of these. I'll probably try that one man show because this fragrance has some things I definitely appreciate to it. Real quick, let's go into the notes of this fragrance. The notes are orange blossom, amber, lavender, cardamom, mint, labanum, and cedar. It smells pretty simple. This fragrance is somewhat unique. Uh, when I first sprayed it up, it was a little bit warm and I got a little bit of this um, grassy vibe similar to vetiver. Um, but then I really haven't got that vibe almost all since then. So maybe once the fragrance sits, I don't really smell that. If you could think of like a little bit of that grassy quality in Train Nui where it's kind of grassy and sweet. It was like that vibe, but definitely not as noticeable of a grassy vibe as Train Nui, which I kind of like that because I like the grassy vibe, but I don't like being an overkill. And then this also has kind of like a balmy, a lotion-y quality that almost reminds me of like Lamau and Ultramau. I don't really know why. It's hard to describe, but the only thing that comes to mind is like a balmy, lotion-y quality to it, a kind of different fullness, but I kind of appreciate it because it is unique for that. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it definitely does have a red, unique vibe. Um, usually when I think of red fragrances, I think of Polo Red, which is a little bit sweet and clubby. Um, there has been some other ones like Abercrombie Red, which I really like, but that one's been since been discontinued. I feel like there's another fragrance that utilizes red, but I'm not too sure. I'm kind of blanking on it. This one definitely seems unique. Like I said, having a little bit of that grassy quality to it. It's hard to describe, but it has a lot of different things going on that I like in a fragrance. That's what makes me want to try other fragrances from this brand because I do appreciate all the little nuances that they do here. And I kind of want to see what their main fragrance is, their pour home, if you will, and uh, see what, how I like that because I am definitely respecting this fragrance for how unique it is. It's an average projector, but I really wouldn't say it's bad. There's times where I thought, it's pretty good and then there's times where I spray up and I don't really smell it at all, but I would say it's a slightly above average projector. And then I would say that it has more of a likable grassy vibe than Train Nui. Now maybe if you get this, you won't smell that grassy vibe. I get it really deep down. Like right now, I'm in a little bit of a cool room, so I don't really smell that heat on it that much. But deep down, in my opinion, it has, I don't want to say if it's, it's vetiver, but it has like a, a grassy vibe to it. And uh, I definitely think it's much tuned down and much more likable than Train Nui in that sense. This is almost kind of like a red, balmy Train Nui to a certain extent. In my opinion, maybe you won't get that. Don't buy this and get mad at me, but that's just kind of what I thought. If I were to go into the cons of this fragrance, I feel like I respect it more than I want to wear it. I really do respect this fragrance. I really like it, but um, there's something about that balmy quality to it to where I think I would prefer something like a Polo Red or like an Abercrombie Red just because I'm not super into fragrances with that grass vibe. It doesn't really bother me. I appreciate that it's in there, but it's this kind of weird balmy quality. It's hard for me to describe, but it's hard for me to get over as well. I, I do really respect this fragrance, like 100% do. If you're somebody who really likes red fragrances, I would say definitely check this out because it definitely smells different than any other red that I've smelled. But like I said, I respect this fragrance. I like what they're doing. I want to try something else, but at the same time, it's not something I would jump to wear or would really have for almost any situation. In my opinion, I would probably prefer one of the Polo Reds, even though they're more clubby, I would probably prefer that over this, but that's just my two cents. If I were to give this a smell rating, I'd give this between a 7.5 to an eight because I do appreciate that they're trying to do something new. And again, I do wanna try more from this brand. Likeability, I'd probably give this a solid 7.5. It's not not likable, 
maybe up to an eight, but I don't know. A 7.5 sounds good. So it's not super, super likable, but it's not like disgusting or challenging by any means. So I'll give it a solid 7.5. And longevity and projection, I'd probably give this a solid seven. And I have given fragrances uh, as low as a 4.5 to a five if they're really bad. So a seven is definitely in the middle. It's definitely passable. There's times where it smells farther away, but then there are times where you spray up and you don't smell as much. So seven seems good for me. If I were to go into some situations for this, probably not as much for a date. I mean, maybe, if this is the only thing you had and you were going on a nighttime date, maybe. I just don't really like it for the gym. I just think it's more of like an everyday kind of fragrance versus an accelerating in anything. Like I, I don't really mind this fragrance. I've had to spray it up. It's like, that's not too bad. It's not like I don't want to wear it. But at the same time, I don't think it really excels in really anything. Uh, I really wouldn't think it excels at work. And I would say that it's probably fall spring kind of scent because it is a little bit sweet and I don't think it would be good in the high heat or the high cold. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this branch. What, what other fragrances should I try? Have you heard about it? Have you heard about that one man show? I think that's what it's called. I'll have to see down below. I'll be very interested to try, but I will be trying another one from this brand. I do want to see what their classic gentleman's fragrance is and like what kind of area they're jumping into. That's been my review of Bogart Story Red. Let me know what other fragrances I should get from this line. Do you like others from the Bogart Story line? I think they have other colors. And then I think they have other versions of One Man Show. They have like variants of it, I think. So I'll have to look into that. But anyways, guys, I we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.